What? Okay. Am I a little too far ahead? <laughs> Am I a little You're too far in front what? of me. What? What? All right, sliding in. Oh, Here we go. Oh, 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 All right, oh, man. Oh. Ah! Whoa. Uh-oh. Did you knock over something? Yeah. That that's sounds okay. about usual. You ready? Yes. Okay. Oh, Todd, that is a nice looking church you got. Thank you. This is an old one. An oldie, but a goldie. Oldie, but a goodie. And you're making it look like it's warm outside, when in fact it's like below 50 out there right Happy now. Happy thoughts, man. Happy thoughts. <laughs> You're, you're wet in summer to get here. I'm just, just just like, come on, summertime. <laughs> uh, actually, Howdy, spring, spring, spring. Yes. Summer's too hot. Howdy, y'all. I'm Mr. Holga. And I'm Todd Puckett. And this is Don's Used Photo Equipment. Mm -hmm. uh, Todd, we're going to talk about something pretty special today. Yes. Because it is April, and uh, whether or not you know it, I think you know it. Yes. Uh, this month, at the end of this month, actually the last Near Sunday the of the month. The last Sunday, I think it's always the last Sunday of the month. And oh, okay. that I did last not know Sunday that. is April 26th this year, yeah. is Worldwide Pinhole Day. World the entire world. Wide. Not, not just not just Dallas. Not just local. Not just Texas. Not, not just, even just the United States. Nope. The whole globe. Worldwide. And as a matter of fact, there are some folks, uh if, if we're allowed to leave our homes, mm -hmm. there are some folks who would like to get together and there will be lots of meetups. But uh this I don't know. We'll see. We will definitely see if there are going to be meetups. Uh, as a matter of fact, my good friend Mr. Snaps was asking. He goes, uh, uh, "He goes, what is it? What is it going to look like for our uh, our pinhole walk in in April?" I was like, "Well, we don't know. Let's let's give it a few more weeks and we'll find out." But as of right now, it looks pretty sketchy. But uh, pinhole is one of those things you can do around the house. Yes. Okay. You don't have to get out and do a photo walk with a bunch of people. You can actually. You can make your own camera. You can buy a camera. Mm -hmm. You can do the film at home. It's just, it's it's really magical. So yes. so yep. today, I know it's very very popular. It is very popular. And what do you need? Some some film would be nice. Film all sizes, all, all sizes, sizes of all sizes. and or, and more or and more. some paper mm -hmm. and just maybe a simple little developing kit. Yep. And you know Which you can we do a have. lot of stuff at home. We have it's amazing. It is. These are things we have. So. Um, I'm going to show off some cameras here. Okay. Because I uh, you've seen some of these. So in fact, we're looking at this entire uh, the shelf in front of us. It's full yes, of cameras right it now. It is a lot to see. I, I don't know why I have so many cameras. Uh, but oh, this is just one category of cameras that you have. This isn't all of them. Yeah, this is just <laughs> just the pinholes. Now this one's actually loaded, so I'm going to actually turn this one on while we're while we're shooting because oh, okay. we had such okay. lovely time. Uh, time yes, last time. Yes, actually, that was kind of fun. So let's see. I got us for about a minute, are, are minute we, fourteen. Okay. Are, are we going? Are we going to have to uh, wait three months to see it again? Yes. Okay. Yes, we will. <laughs> we will have to wait three months. It took. All right, oh so, yeah, it took a little while to see the uh, result from the last. All one. right. So we are recording on that one right there. So when my little camera goes, uh, phone goes off. Beep beep beep. All right. So we're going to start with what's near and dear to my heart. Yes. We're going to start with Holga's. Holga. Holga. And Holga's de Holga does a did a good good job of making some pinhole cameras. Well, that, that, no, that's funny though. It's, it's your, your 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 moniker, your name is Mr. Mr. Holga. Holga. See, in high school, what was my nickname? Todd. Toga. Toga. <laughs> <laughs> it really was. My car tag said Toga. I, I I I didn't know you were in high school. I'm sorry. Yeah, I went to high school when I well, was. Well, that that I know you kid. went to high school. <laughs> yes. So these are pinhole cameras. And as a mm -hmm. matter of fact, uh, I, I have three different styles of these right here. Let me take the cap okay. off here. I mean, really, they aren't anything more than just a tiny little hole yep. in the camera. There's no lens here. And that's the whole thing about a, a, a pinhole camera is there's no glass. So these between, are Holga pinhole cameras. These are Holga made pinhole cameras. This one, that's the standard six by six. All right. This is a wide. So this one's good. That's going to take a six by six. This is going to be, take either a six by 12 or a six by nine. And this is 120 film. That's 120 film. This is 120 film. This is 35 film. All right. So this is going to take a standard 35 millimeter. Did my phone just go off? No, it, it just flashed at me. Well, why would it do something like I that? Don't it's know. because the timer's done. Wow. That was a fast minute. I told you. There we go. Man, I you just, I got flashed. <laughs> <laughs> so these are Holgas and the, yes. you know they're nice they're they're very nice basic cameras okay yes. uh they're light they're su Hogas, super light pretty cool the wide one here actually has a little uh bubble level yes. on the top this one does not nope so it kind of helps you if you're really you know when you're taking a long shot you want to try and get it as level as you can and as you'll see uh, some of these other cameras actually have levels on them too because yes because you want to get the shot level they also have uh, the nice little arrows up here at the top. 
and the air, uh, now not for that one, but for this one. So it kind of lets you know, it's like, okay, this obviously is the front of the camera, but then it also kind of lets you know how wide the picture is going to be. So while you're lining up your shot, you want to know kind of what's going to be included what in it. What will be included in it. So Holgas, Holgas. Do, do a good job. And you know, like I said, they're just as light and they're just as crappy as yeah. the regular Holgas. Yeah. But they, you know, they do do a good job. And they have just as fantastical shots as the other Holgas. Right. Yeah. But I want re re what I really want to do is I want to show you what a pinhole camera really is. And essentially, in essence, that is just a pinhole camera. Now, these are a couple of pinhole cameras that I made at home. Uh, they're nothing more than black. Uh, foam board, mm -hmm. black masking tape, and right here in the middle is the pinhole, and it is a tin can. <laughs> that is all there is to it. Can I open this one? Yeah, you can. All right. Oh, Coca-Cola. Yeah, well, I, I'm not going to tell you what I drink at home. <laughs> well, this one's just... Uh, this see. one's a little harder to open than that one is, but you should be able to just... So these are essentially a box and a box. Like this? Yeah. Like this? Okay. Yeah. I just don't want to. No, it's fine. Wow. All it is is a light, tight box within mm, a box. It's a tight box. All it's right. a it's a tight fit. Okay. So actually, I had paper in there. Uh, that one's no good anymore. <laughs> that was that was demonstrative paper. It was demonstration. So yeah. So, so as you can see, it's just a it's just a box that's going to fit within a box. So when you so put the film in this here, this is nothing but a, a box shell in the dark. Yes, and then you place this on it in the dark. Yes, it pins the paper to the back. Right, which was this paper, which I did not know was in here. Hey, sure, you, you were doing that for demonstration. Yeah, absolutely. Purposes. So this is some Harman paper. Look, it is evenly lit. No, actually, the Harman paper is pink. Oh. <laughs> The Harman paper is pink. So if you get your Harman paper out in the dark, you'll see the one side is white and one side is pink. Well, this is the emulsion side. So the paper will just go in the box. And you see how it like goes so. edge to edge to edge. So there's right. no wiggle room. So right. I made this Very box little. to where it's exactly the size of the paper. Yeah. And this one is exactly now, the size. Now, this of box obviously is going to, this little edge is going to pin down the paper. So, so while it is in here, you're going to get like a little border around the paper because oh that's the air is it? that's the air laid out of the box so now that the paper is in there and it's pinned down on all four sides by the lid of the box which yes. is holding it flat it essentially creates a nice little border or edge around the paper exactly. and that's what keeps it flat in there and so that's why I didn't, know, I didn't know there's any paper in here because it's like uh well, it it's not like it's shaking around, around. Now I create my pinhole boxes like this mm -hmm. because I'll load them and then I will take them somewhere. And so I create these little slides that go with them as well. So yeah. I do a little bit more extra effort to this lid so that I can create myself a slide. Uh-huh. Very cool. These are Very these cool. are cheap and easy to make. You can make these at home. Uh, I know Hobby mm -hmm. Lobby is not probably open right now, <laughs> but um, <laughs> it uh, could be. <laughs> but you, you don't have to use black foam board. You don't have to use black masking tape. You can use a cardboard box, but if you what you have to do is make your box light tight. So you might have to use a couple layers of cardboard box until you can make sure that that light can no longer penetrate through the box because mm -hmm. you're gonna wanna put the paper in here in, in their safe light conditions. And then you're gonna wanna take it somewhere, expose it, and then you're gonna wanna bring it back home and develop it. Absolutely. So you just need to make sure that this is a light tight box because if it's not then you essentially you're starting to expose your paper the minute you see it exactly so this is uh i made a bunch of these homemade for for last year's yeah. uh pinhole photo walk and i gave a bunch of them away now and you actually did a class where you you made these at the class no well no we Was didn't we, no, like no oh. we didn't make the box i went ahead and made a bunch of boxes but okay. we went and shot the paper and develop the paper that was the only thing we really do but oh, okay. uh, but mr snaps and i have been discussing we should have a little class on, on making these things because they really are fun they don't take yeah. very long and once you learn how to make one it's like well you can make bunches of them in which yeah. case i have so i i started out small and i got bigger and I actually got even more complicated. So now you said the the film that was in that box is the Harmon, the Harmon direct, direct positive, positive paper by Ilford Photo. Right, and I will show some examples of that. I will have some of those here in just a little bit. I was showing off some more 
uh, yeah, actual little yeah. cameras. So that one also takes the same four by five paper. Mm -hmm. I call this one, I think, A to B4, more like a little bit on the Star Wars reference there, because on one side, I've got four. On the other side, I've got two. And so each one of these is a little pinhole. And so you can, uh, so it will take two pieces of paper, but yet I can get six shots from that camera. Yeah. I've got an example of that one to so, show you as well. Yeah. Okay. So you take this off, then you pull both of these out, put a piece of paper on both sides. Yeah. There's a piece of paper. So there's a, there's essentially right in the middle, there is one divider and there's a piece of paper on this side and there's a piece of paper on that side. So it's- Place these in. Yep. Yeah. And you're ready to go. Yes. As a matter of fact, why don't you go ahead and open one, one yeah. on the side so we can see how it's look like. Oh, this yeah. one is my my pinhole cube. I tried to make it as square as I possibly could. <laughs> is there paper in that one too? Yes. Well, don't open the other side. Okay. <laughs> so, but, Again, no, but, our example paper. But uh, but I really wanted you to see, see the, the other side yes. of this. But you can see what I've done is I've divided it into four separate sections here. Looks kind of like Cracker Barrel. <laughs> So that's, you know, four different pinholes, and that way I can open four different one of the, ones of those. Yes. So there is no film in this particular camera, but I'm going to take the rubber bands off of here. This one actually takes film. It does not take paper, but it does have the same tiny little shutter, right? which is kind of cute. Tiny little shutter. I've got a couple of knobs up here for advancing the film, and I've got a little, I've got a little film door back here so that I can see the film number. So this is going to take a six by six. So I'm going to take the top off so you guys can see this one. So this one. Yes. Yeah, this it one. It looks like a brownie camera. It, it does. I've got, I've got place. I'm going to put film here and here. And I've got little film advances on the top here. My brother actually made these in his 3D printer. So these fit in the top of the, the film and I can yeah. turn and, and move it. And once again, this isn't anything more than black foam board, tape, and a tin can. I might have used a little bit of glue to glue some pieces together but it's really all just taped together. And the best part is, you know, the black tape and the black foam board just decreases the amount of light. Right, bouncing, reflecting. Yeah. So this is just a cute little camera. Like I said, uh, I think the focal length was probably a little bit uh, longer than I wanted it to be, so I'll probably make a shorter one here in the near future. And it doesn't take much more than a rubber band just to keep, keep it on. And these, like these are made at home. Yeah. So simple to do. And so I, I wish I had brought some of the uh, tin cans that I'm going to use. Like, you know, you get those tins for Christmas. Yes. People say uh, there are a lot of guys who uh, and ladies, a lot of ladies uh, shooting pinhole as well. Um, they actually use those holiday tins as pinholes. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's very easy just to, to put a hole in there and put a pinhole in it and just throw a piece of paper inside of it. And what they'll yeah. do, because they're tins. So it, it's where I've got this nice little uh, shutter here, they'll just put like a refrigerator magnet on top of it. And the refrigerator magnet stays right there. <laughs> I mean, yes. it could be a, a cookie tin, tea tins, any, uh, tin. any kind of tin. It just, it just Fruit works. Fruitcake tin. <laughs> uh, if you get just the right size of tin, that four by five paper will just sit in there just nicely. And as a mm -hmm. matter of fact, it might even have like a little bit of a curve to it. And that really, you know, gets you really some really cool pictures. I mean, just the tins alone are, oh, yeah. they're, they're pretty cool to deal with. So you're not limited to just the box size or shape. No, I mean, you really, uh, the only, the only limit, limitation is the film you're going to use. Yes. And so as I've already shown you, these, most of these are paper that I'm going to be shooting in is the mm -hmm. Harmon paper. Now I don't, I know I don't have any paper in this one. So <laughs> I, I told you, I t this one's called big boy because yes. it was, at the time it was the biggest one I did. Uh, this one's called tiny. Yes. It makes tiny. a lot of sense. Tiny takes, uh, what is this? A 16 by 20 Looks piece of right. paper. 16 by 20. And I bought that 16 by 20 paper. I just haven't shot it yet. Yes. So, uh, so that's what I, I have goals for tiny and tiny has a shutter. I mean, it's, it's still a box. It's yes. more like a hat box size. I yes. still made it out of foam board, but it's still going to take a pinhole so picture. Not, you've it's, actually shot photos with this. No, I have not yet. I'm not going yet. to. This is okay. But it's still just a tiny little tin yeah. can pinhole in the middle. Of it. Now, how long would you think an exposure would take on something like that? Uh, well, taking a look here, I've got a tiny here has a focal length. So I, I do try and measure these when I can. Okay. Okay. Now, there is a really great website called uh, Mr. Pinhole. It's at mrpinhole.com. Uh, they're not paying us for anything like that. It's a, no, it's a free no. site. Anybody Nobody's can paying us anything. <laughs> don't pay us anything. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Pinhole.com. 
that you can put in dimensions of a camera you want to build, or let's say you're just using a random box. Mm -hmm. And if you, you measure it and you can, and they can t tell you how to measure your pinhole as close as you can, because a lot of times what you're doing is you're just sticking a pin through a tin can and you're, you're smoothing it out with a little bit of sandpaper or emery paper. Um, mm -hmm. You can measure that as close as you can. If you're using, using a pin, you know, a stick pin, you're probably going to make yourself anywhere from a point two five to a point five pinhole. And, you know, that's how do you, there's a way to measure it. Well, the easiest way to measure that is uh, like with a, a flatbed scanner, because what you'll do is you put a ruler on a flatbed scanner next to your pinhole, and then you go into Photoshop <laughs> and you can like compare them really quickly. So you can kind of give right. yourself a good idea. But uh, Mr. The Mr. Pinhole site, so yeah, you know, lets you lets you put in the dimensions of your camera. So this particular one has a focal length of four point uh, four five inches. It's got a pinhole diameter of 0.45 millimeters. It's got an uh, f stop of two sixty eight. So I like to you know put this stuff on my cameras mm -hmm. as best I can so that I know what I'm dealing with. So did I put it on this one? Yes, I yes. put so I put the information on the top of them. So because they're going to change all the time. Man, so that's your homemade. Those are those are the homemade ones. The Hoga pinholes, the homemade pinholes. Right. And then next, next we're up to the bought pinholes. The uh, well, but they're manufactured by somebody else. Bought. Well, the Hoga, the Hogas <laughs> were made by somebody else. Right, right. The the You're wooden right. wooden yeah and larger. Then let's go with this one. Yeah. So this is a four by five pinhole, and it isn't anything more than once again. It a is box. just a shell of a box with a hole in it. Mm -hmm. um, now, this obviously, you know, this is a 4x5 slide, and it just goes in here, and it is screwed down. It sounded like it kind of plops down into place. It does. I think it has the groove, groove. in it for the slide, yeah. which is nice because it gets nice, light, tight. And so normally when I shoot this one, I put my finger over the hole, and then I pull out the dark slide, and then you know, my finger now is becoming the, the shutter. Mm -hmm. And then I will expose it and I will put it back. Yeah. It's fighting with me. Oh, no. Is it winning? There we go. Not today. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> we are so, smarter than the piece of board. And if you look at it, the pinhole, yeah. it's just a piece of brass. Yes. And some, somebody stuck a pin in it, right? Exactly. So it's really not. Let me see this. Yeah. Yeah. Now, there are laser-drilled pinholes. They can be expensive. Uh, I think the Ondu cameras that I have, I think those are laser-drilled. I'm not okay. quite sure what the... Uh, I'm not quite sure what the Holgas are. The Holgas might be laser-drilled. So, yeah, this, the universal quarter-20 screw on the bottom. Yes, it has that. That's the bottom, that's the top. Yeah. Or the side. Or the side, You yeah. can do portrait or landscape of that one. So, uh, it'll, it'll fit on a um, tripod. Yes, quarter-20. Universal. People always ask, do the holes fit? It's universal. <laughs> do the Quarter holes 20 fit? or three eighths. So one of those two. Unless it's European something. <laughs> the metric. It's metric. The and then metric. we don't know. <laughs> All right. So now to the pretty ones. Ah, um, yes. Which one first? Oh, well, let's just do, let's grab on this. No, this is the one. That this one we just, just shot. shot. We'll go ahead and grab a different one here. So. This is, these are the Ondu Mark, this is an Ondu Mark II. That's an Ondu okay. Mark III. Now. So I don't have an Ondu Mark I. No. Oh, th they have one, but you just don't have it? Well, I didn't start. Right. They had a kick. This is like, that was their third Kickstarter. These are part of their second Kickstarter campaign. Okay. So we just shot with this one. Now, let me ask you this. this. Which one of these did we have the opening? That one. This one. Yes. So this one, we actually have done an episode on already. Yep. And it was a few months ago. It was a while back. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was well, a while back. It was in the fall. We... And in that episode, we he had just gotten it in. Yeah. We opened it up. He explained everything in it. And he'll probably have a link up at the top where you go back and see that. But this Or in episode, the description, which or is below. Or in the description. Below, yep. <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> top, bottom, somewhere. But this... It, this uh, episode on this camera, the unboxing, is our number one most viewed episode so far. Yes. And our number one most hours watched so far. I'm not quite sure it has to do much with the unboxing as more as it did with the uh, the uh, J-Lane speed plates. Well. Because <laughs> everybody was excited about those. Yes. The J-Lane speed <laughs> plate, which you could actually 
what, whenever you get a four by five glass plate right. holder with this, if you, if you had a four by five glass plate holder and speed plates, they're, work they're right. almost available, I think. Right. And then we could do that with that. Well, I should well. be, I should technically be able to put a speed plate in here. Yes. And why don't you? That, well, that you know, I, a, I think the only uh, the only thing is uh, it would probably create a little bit more gap between the edges. Yes, so I might so I might have to do thicker. one that uh, takes into the the dimensions of the plate. Which is a future episode. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but anyway, this this opening along with the other topics in it. Do I have any film in that one? So actually, uh, let's check. It doesn't look like it. It doesn't. I can't. Yeah. Well, can this is really see, all right. Yeah. So this is my six by seventeen on do and. Uh, you don't see anything in there? I, I can't see. Okay. Well, I, I, there, I know there's nothing in this one. No. Uh, so these come with very rudimentary shutters. Again, mm -hmm. this one has a little lever on this one. That one has a little slide on it. I keep the rubber band on it to keep it because I found that when I put it in my bag, that that slide would get pushed and I would have a, a, a exposed mm -hmm. shot. shot. Yeah. Uh, these come sense. with some very nice wood knobs and, the, and most of this stuff is held on by magnets. Yes, yes. And they have like a little piece of metal Same under here. Same here too, right? Yes. Yeah. So... They're all magnets. This uh, they come with the bubble uh, levels on the top. The bottom is also the back is also magnetic. Again with the V groove. I mean yeah. with the viewing. This one is six by seventeen, so it comes with a curved film plane, whereas most of them are like a flat film plane. Right, that one's right. flat, and this one is flat, but this one is actually curved because it's a much larger shot. Oh, that is actually cool. Now this is like opening it up. And looking inside of one of those like a uh, model, you know, like model homes, yeah, or, yeah, little the kids' playhouses. You're looking. It looks like you're looking inside of one of those with this. That is cool. That's a lot of detail in there. So uh, yes, we've seen this inside of this one. Super tiny, but it is it is a six yeah, by six. Flat. It's very flat. There's no curve to it. It's nice and cute. And it's held. It's got held on to the same magnet system as this one is. It got magnets and magnets, and it's gonna snap together. That yeah, it just snaps together. This one does the uh, has the little filter for it, which is also has magnets underneath here, so it snaps together as well. Oh uh, yeah, and a little section over here. And to pull instead it apart. of having instead of having a uh, an arm for a shutter, good. this one's got the little. Yeah, this holds on very very well. That one's harder to use, and uh, hats off to Ondu because I said, "Boy, th this one is so hard to use." Because actually, I would found that the the paper was the, was ripping. I mean, it's like a lot of pressure because oh. you have to snake this all the way around, and you had to be very careful with it uh, to get paper to work. And so, what they did was because uh, I was trying to work with them as best I could to say, "Hey, how can I get this thing to work better?" Yeah, and they said, "Hey, how about we just send you a six by 12? And they did, which is really nice. So essentially, I got this one for free, uh, wow. but I, I still do really like that camera. I just don't get an opportunity to use it as much. It is harder to use though. Yeah, because I see because it's it has so much to travel around and so much right. tension. Uh, and I don't it. know if they have actually uh, improved. Uh, since the last one, they they might have because you know they did six by seventeens again. Yeah, there's felt on this, but again, well, you know, it has to come all oh, from yeah, this yeah. bar to this bar and has to go across all that. So it's a really far distance to be winding paper, and you have to like wind them at wow. the same time. Oh yeah, yeah. And then if I, on this, I like it. It says two, five, eight, and eleven. Yes, to let you know which numbers. Which use. that reminds me of another advertisement. Yeah. Two was it two four ten? Well, you're looking at us over there. <laughs> <laughs> ten two four. <laughs> ten two and four. Which is it's the time to have Dr. A Dr. Pepper. Pepper. <laughs> that is really really. Uh, we're cool. not advertising for Dr. Pepper, but if they want to send us some T-shirts, we'll take them. We'll take them. We'll take now, them. Now, don't open this one up. Which one is? Did we, oh, you just shot that one. I just shot yeah. that one. So don't open. Yeah, that don't one. hand that one to me. The last now, one. This is the really, really fancy one. Well, I brought this one because uh, I wanted guys, people to know that you you've got four by five cameras here. Yes. You've got uh, speed graphics and crown graphics, and this one is the uh, the Intrepid four by five. And this was their first Kickstarter campaign. Oh. Uh, so essentially, this company makes brand new four by five cameras. They're mostly Intrepid. wood. Uh, I think they've decreased their amount of wood now because they're trying to make them lighter. And they're like, it's oh, pretty light already. <laughs> it's pretty light, but now they're even lighter because this is the first generation. And one yeah. of the things that they come with is a pinhole front. 
Yes. So, you know, you're, I can easily change the, the focal length of this uh, camera yes. Uh, yes, by, you know, absolutely. moving it up or down. And I've got all sorts of twist and bend in, in the, uh, the and travel. You can also put a regular lens, shutter lens in here. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But it comes with the pinhole. And that's why I wanted to bring and show this one. That, and, yes. uh, and this one would actually, you know, with the dark cloth, you would actually get a nice look of uh, what you're going to shoot before you shoot it because it's got the ground glass on the back of it. Yeah, very nice. So this is the Intrepid. Yes. And I've heard a lot about these. Mm. I mean, I've had customers come in and they've bought these. They say, these. do you have them? No, I don't. <laughs> but now you can say you've seen one. I've seen it for the Yeah, first time I've seen one. And they're not that expensive. No, no they were not that expensive. I mean, the the, uh, the Kickstarter campaign was pretty good. Uh, I mean, it, it took them a little longer to get started. But, you know, once they... There's this, They've done more Kickstarter campaigns since then, and they've gotten things faster and more on time. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very nice. Which set that one back over there. All and right, grab, yeah. grab some of the photos there. Now I'll let you. Okay. Well, so the one camera I had, which was A2, uh, A2, B4, and just want to show you guys. I'll probably see if I can't scan some of these. Dog uh, chewing? I, I don't know what happened. <laughs> <Okay>. So, <laughs> but as you know, these are this is Harman Direct Positive paper. Yes. And I put it in the camera and exposed it, and you know we got some pretty decent shots. And as you can yes. see, there's a nice little dividing line between all the shots. And, and yes, it gives it yes, sort it of that made. 1800s look, you know, yeah. which is kind of fun. Now there is, you know, I had a little bit of practice. There's this one's very bright, so you have to kind of you have to. With all pinhole cameras, you might have to do a test run to figure out. It's like, is it good? Yeah. Is it not good? Is How much downtown, time? Downtown McKinney. McKinney. Right. So, you know, they, they do turn out really, you know, they're pictures. Yes. They're oh, nice. Yeah. I do those. like these, yeah. And here are a couple of, the, these are from Big Boy. Oh, also is, yeah. from downtown McKinney. Oh, no, this one's actually from downtown Dallas. Here, just take that one, top one right there. I just used somebody's Jeep as a tripod right there. I said, you know what, Jeep, you're now the tripod. <laughs> and, you know, uh, on this one, which you're not going to be able to see very well, this is me at the dentist. I was oh, actually getting my. my teeth cleaned. So the exposure was like, Your well, foot's very blurred. Were you just kicking around a lot? Yeah, I was. No, it's yeah. a, like 30, 40 minute exposure <laughs> wow. on paper. Yeah. On just a dark room paper. On dark room paper. Very cool. Yep, the dentist. The dentist. There is a lot to do with pinhole cameras, whether you're making or whether you're shooting them, whether you're developing them. Uh, and, you know, I haven't even gotten into the the subject of you could create all sorts of different pinholes. Now, the you know, Celtic and then downtown McKinney. Yeah, the corner. downtown yeah. McKinney. Now, being direct positive paper, everything's in reverse. Yes. So you have to keep that in mind if you're going to be shooting like that. Now, if you shot on regular and larger paper and then used that as a negative, then you would have things back in positive. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, there's lots of interesting things you can do with pinholes as far as putting more than one pinhole on a camera. Yes. So, you know, this one only has one pinhole, but I could create a much larger oh, area. Yeah. And there's I could several put, that I could put four have or rotating five. ones, like a little disc with different pinhole sizes on it. Well, nice. different pinhole sizes, but like I said, you could have like th maybe three pinholes showing at once, mm -hmm. and so what that creates like a, a mirror uh, mirage of images on there. You, you know, you have three different spots on there that mm -hmm. that's all, and they're kind of overlapping on each other, which is kind of cool. Cool. You just have to be able now, to measure for those things. What do you like shooting most with, film or paper? I, you know, I like shooting with film because I can get more shots, but I like, you know, I, I do also like the paper because it's... And then you can also make copies in the dark or darkroom yeah. prints from it. But I do like, the, you know, I do like the little pinhole cameras because they, they are exactly that. They're little and they're very portable and I can get uh, many shots from them. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, What's these, your favorite film? These are uh, guitar shoot. knobs, by the way. Oh, yeah. What's your favorite film? Well, when it comes to pinhole yes. photography, slower is better. Now, this Ooh. particular, this one which we just shot, I've got T Max four hundred in here. Elford, right now. Uh, 50 Pan, speed? Pan F fifty speed is a great film to shoot with, yeah. and that's one of the ones I recommend because one of the things I like the most about pinholes is the duration mm -hmm. of time. 
and I do like slower speeds. So I like the cool. the Ilford uh, uh, Pan F that's 50 speed. I also do like the uh, the FP4 that's 125 speed. Oh, the Delta 100. This has got, uh, like I said, T-Max 400 in it oh, because man. this is indoors and it's going to take too long. This is where the film washies would really... Well, I did mm -hmm. remember the film washi I showed you. Uh, okay. I showed you. Well, I didn't bring those in yet. No. Uh, but I developed them. But I did shoot them in uh, one of my pinhole cameras. Very cool. Because I think the A is twelve ISO. Yeah. So, so you know, if you want film wash, if you want people blurring through your your scenes, That'd then you cool. want slower the better. Yes. And we're getting up on the time whenever it gets more sunlight outside to do that. Yeah. The um, the Harman uh, direct positive paper, I believe, has an ISO oh, of six. Yeah, it's really. And it, they slow. say it's either three or six, and so you, that's where you have to do a little bit of experimenting. You have to, you have to right. guess. You have to figure it out. Trial um, and error. And that's the same for regular uh, enlarging papers, either mm -hmm. a three or six. Oh, as very well. very slow. It's it's just super slow paper, so it expects a lot of bright light all at once, and then it's done. Mm hmm. And occasionally you can overexpose a little bit. You can, but you know, that's a little trial and error. Yeah, yeah. Still a good photo. Interesting. All right, man. That's a lot of stuff. That's, that's a lot, lot of That's a lot of pinholes. pinholes. Yes, but it's fascinating. And you can see why people get into it. And a lot of the people that come in here, a fairly decent percent are, are dabble in this in pinhole. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're shooting, not, if you shoot a, an if you shoot a film camera, yeah, there's a good chance you're going to shoot a pinhole. Camera At some too. point, you're going to do film hole. Because so you're like, why it's, not? It's, it's a wider market than you would think. That's why uh, companies like that are mm -hmm. doing pinholes with their with it. It's just to expand it. And I do believe that this company seems to be doing very well, and um, they. Sell out uh, that, yeah, those are Ondu cameras. They Ondu's very are just, well. They're, they're, the Intrepid cameras are very well. I mean, that you know, it's not necessarily yeah. a pinhole camera, but and it comes soon, with a pinhole lens. Why not? Pretty soon, they were, the Chroma cameras will be out there too, with the uh, same thing as this in a way. Right. There are, I'll check and see if they got a pinhole feature. Uh, yeah, there are. Uh, there are like lot of little niche companies out there. There's one uh, company out there that's actually doing 3D printed pinhole cameras. Mm -hmm. You can actually get 3D printed plans to do, go and print them at home if you want to. Uh, there are, there is can, a, uh, a... Can't even handle two dimensions, much less a, three on something like that, man. There's a camera called the Reality Soul Subtle. It's being, I think it's made in France. People are, uh, people talk about that one quite a bit as hmm. well. I mean, it's a, it's a very sturdy camera, much like these are. Reality um, So Subtle? Reality So Subtle, Yes. Now I learn. I listen to. Now I get a lot of my pinhole knowledge and information from because I listen to the Lensless podcast. And my shout out to a, a couple of good friends, uh, Corey and Andrew. I've been on the show a couple of times talking to them. Uh, it's a good podcast if you're you were interested in learning more about pinhole photography. And they have different pin. They have a different pinhole photographer on there each week. Yeah. I think they were doing weekly. I think they're doing every other week, which like we are uh, now. Mm -hmm. And uh, so they'll talk to them about how people got into it. There's and what a large they do. support organization out there. On there this is thing. a large. And whenever you have a whole day dedicated to something like this. Yeah. A whole day. You have to have a big following. So yeah. this and what? So there's pinhole week. Well, a world, or day, a worldwide pinhole day. Day. But we, uh, but uh, Mr. Snaps and I, we were actually going to do our photo walk on Saturday because the people like treat it like a weekend thing. Right. And so every year now there is a big gathering. I'm not quite sure if there's going to be a gathering this year, but every year there has been a gathering. Well, like see. last year's gathering was in Boston. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this year's gathering was supposed to be in Ireland. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they, they pick a worldwide location to meet up. And I'm thinking a dozen or more. Uh, pinhole photographers get together and they shoot for that weekend because right, it's yeah. you know it's worldwide pinhole day why not and then they all take their film yeah and they have to develop it yes process it something process it. and that's what we have with our kit with our chemistry yeah we got I, it here i mean everything you want to develop stuff uh, i see you've got a stack of kits now which is cool yes i got a stack in i i, I ordered 10 kits in. yeah got them just in, in time friday just in time and friday they stopped ship shipping for a couple of weeks so just under the wire mm, yes and, and it's, uh, uh, your stack I, isn't as tall as it was no 
No. And the fun part is, is that several people came into the store and said, I saw it on your video. What? Yeah. Somebody and they said, I saw it on your video. Watching. Do I get a discount? And the answer is no. no. <laughs> um, I don't get a discount. I'm sorry. <laughs> but people have actually seen our video about the Il the Patterson Ilford, mm. Ilford Patterson starter kit. Ilford Patterson starter kit. And film processing starter kit. And I think that's the official. Have come in and actually bought them from me because that's, that's cool video. yeah thank you we appreciate it absolutely yeah i mean it's got trays in it right no uh i don't know you don't trade do it. oh right. you don't, there's no it's, trays. it's the tank well you excuse me, you sell i do trays. have i do have trays i so, have the supplies for the starter kit i have supplies for people who have the dark room right i've got everything but the enlarger okay but yeah. to develop the Harmon stuff yes that's the all you need is uh, a few trays you need multi-grade developer, stop, and fixer. Mm -hmm. And so you need four trays. One's, your last one's going to be water. And you, wait, you're That's good it. to go. You, then it, you, you need a dark room. Yeah, exactly. That's not very much at all. That is cool, man. That is really neat. Uh, this is, you know, and yeah, this is, a, a, I have a ton of cameras. And of course, when you start building these things after a while, it's like, yeah. oh, they're so cute. I mean, I probably have like six or seven of these hanging around the house because I just couldn't stop myself. Yes, I can understand that because it's fun once you get into that mode and then you go, okay, now I have them. Now we got to go do a yeah. pinhole walk. Well, this was like the, the third generation I was making of a film camera. So I was trying to make it as square as I possibly can. Oh, yeah. And now I have to realize that I need to decrease the focal length probably about an inch. So it's going to be less square, but it's going to be even smaller. So that's going to be cute. And these yeah. are these are guitar knobs, by the way, from the uh, from the guitar shop. Yeah. So, like I said, my brother 3D printed the piece that goes inside, which actually advances the film, and then I just have these two little knobs at the top. But everything else here is just paper. It's just paper. It's just paper, paper. and, and, and a soda can. And fun. And the prints are are amazing. You can. Yeah. They are. They're fun. They're cool. It's to to think that you got an image with nothing more than a hole through a tin can. Yes. In fact, there's the. There was a, a famous photographer up in Arkansas. I got to go up and see his place before he retired. Yeah. And uh, he had a big 8x10 pinhole. And his images are, uh, he has a, he has a um, place that sells them yeah. out of San Francisco. And while I was there looking over his stuff, I was actually traveling with someone. And they were looking over stuff to possibly pick out things to buy. The Smithsonian called him. <laughs> Well, and, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, he was talking to them and he said, yeah, but you have to go through this company to buy the images. Mm. And he also then took his images because I think he shot on film and then printed them on 11 by 14 or 16 by 20. Okay. Platinum and palladium. Oh, oh, yes. Very nice. And there were over a thousand a piece, his images. So you, how many did you buy? Uh, none. <laughs> <laughs> but I did get some of his of his cast off stuff. I think, yeah, his, his, a little box of his, uh, and I bought it. I didn't <laughs> I grab it and run. But I I bought some things from it, and I've got it next door, and I have to show you that. But pinhole photography isn't just for amateurs or just for weekend warriors or fun. I know there's there, some serious professionals are, doing this, and they are charging a thousand dollars, probably yeah. more now. Uh, well, that's for their what I prints. charge. Yeah, that's what I charge. Yeah. Sure. And you had the Smithsonian on hold. <laughs> I, I, actually, I have an unlisted number. Oh yes, that's, they, they that's can't get a hold of me. It's I'm they, sure they've tried, but they wanted to get a few for their for their collection. Mm -hmm. You know, so they heard he was retiring. They wanted to get some from him, based on uh, because of that pinhole photography. I, I just thought of this as we were talking about it. It's bringing back memories, man. <laughs> well, just to let you guys know, like I said, Worldwide Pinhole Day is April. Sunday, April twenty sixth. April twenty. However, I'm sure if you're gonna you're gonna shoot stuff on Saturday, April twenty fifth, no uh, one no one's gonna mind. You're not gonna get, you know, busted by the pinhole police. And, and I'm also gonna add that, uh, <laughs> as you guys know, Holga Week is October first through seventh, and it's always. First through seventh. The first October through 1st seventh. Through Doesn't matter what that day starts in. And one of the categories is pinhole. So, you know, you go get yourself a Holga pinhole and you too can shoot Holga, uh, Holga week, Holga just, week, just pinhole. And, you know, it, that, yeah. I think that was the yeah. smallest category uh, of all the entries we had. And I'm really hoping that there will be more pinhole shots next year. Yes. I really do like pinhole and well, you know, the, the Holgas take fantastic pinhole. 
shots. With your pinholes, keep in mind. Yeah. Hoga week. Absolutely. Because get in practice for it now. Practice, practice, for practice. For that category later. The winners from the categories mm -hmm. got. Oh, well, I don't know what they're going to get this year. But last year, but last year, the, last year, the winners, got. each of the winners of each of the categories got an Ilford Simplicity Developer Kit, which is yes. pretty cool. Yes. And it, it is. It's, it's really cool. So it's not just as it's not something to do just because it's to do. There are actually well, really cool prizes. <laughs> so it is worth doing just to do, but the prize is at the end too. Mm -hmm. And more people in the pinhole, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It would be fun to see. And last year, you only had three months to really jump into it. This year, yep. we got the whole time and we can take time like this to push something like this for that. Oh, yeah. So pinholes for pinhole day, pinholes for Hoga right. week, pinholes for every day after that. Yeah. So, you know, that's right. When you can, when, when everything is safe, come into the shop. Now you can talk to Todd about mm -hmm. pinholes. He's going to he's going to pretend like he knows a little bit more. I'll now. shake my head. And, nod, and uh, he'll mm -hmm. sell you some film and yes, say, yeah, say, go for it. And we are open during this time. The, the, the code city code came by Monday. Yeah. Yeah. And he came in the store and he says, oh, I'm not here to give you tickets or anything. I said, well, OK, thanks. <laughs> now, we're, we're still trying not to say the obvious, but uh, and I, we wouldn't I wouldn't be showing up to doing this right now if I was concerned about this shop. No, because that would be uh, that would be silly to put my family at risk. Absolutely. I, I, I have double checked this situation and I think we're all we're all looking good here right now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like, you know, he sent a doctor over. They took a temperature. <laughs> they just swipe. <laughs> I don't know what that thermometer was for, but I don't know why they put it there. But anyway, it all checks out. But uh, I'm open Monday through Friday, 12 to 5. Okay. Saturdays, 10 to 3. Shortened hours. That way I can go get stuff for my parents before and after. And uh, mm, that's right, because dad's yeah. not coming up here for dad's a while. Not he, well, no. when he does come up here, he's on the other side and he stays over there. And he watches TV and cleans mm. stuff, and he stays away from here and other people. And the other uh, side in is you're not going to see him over here. No, <laughs> exactly. You're not going to see him over here. And uh, it, it, anyway, so he 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 said I just had to put this piece of paper in the window, which I put it in the thing, mm -hmm. taped it on the front door, and now I'm legit. So if you direly need some film to start your pinhole camera. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Now, you, you said you had to go equipment? dig up the uh, the Harman uh, uh, paper. Yes, you said you have it somewhere? I have it in a box somewhere. Yeah. Because um, I love since it. Since the last That's time we've really met, um, I got a carload of used film. Yes, you did. It's expired. Not. I'm sorry. It's not used. It's expired. <laughs> it's not used. <laughs> I've got a carload. It's called somebody else's snapshots when exactly, it's used. Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's true. <laughs> so I got a carload of expired film. What kind of film? What didn't I get? Man, I got 35 millimeter, 110, 126, 120. 220. I got a box of 220 film. Mm. I got Super 8. I got 16 millimeter film. I've got two and a quarter by three and a quarter, four by five, eight by 10, and some other odd size film. But this is the fun thing. Now look at this. A whole box. A whole box of 220 film. Ooh, I love the NCs. Yes, Portra 160 NC. Yeah, the yeah most it's that expired, I have. but and yeah, it's 220, yeah. but still. It's still, I mean, all 220 is going to be expired. I got the Pro Gold Ecto Color, Ecto Color, box of five, 220. A box of five. This, 40 bucks. 40 bucks for a Pro Pack. And I've got all of this stuff. So anyway, this is one of the things I go, I got, and I got slide film. I've got, oh man, a Fuji. It's like it just walked in the door. It, it, I'm, well, <laughs> under a lot of stress. <laughs> it was MS 100 slash 1000. Yeah. Uh, in, in 120 rolls. Uh, it's fun. And the odd thing, another th odd thing I got, Ilford Photo. XP2, FP4, and HP5, 16 millimeter movie camera film. That's kind of cool. And uh, I 
messaged Michael Bain, the Ilford rep for the U.S. Or actually, I didn't message him. I talked to him on the phone because he called up and see if well, how we were doing and what's going on. And Ilford put up a list on their site of all the stores that are still open for people to go around the world and still pick up film. Yeah. And uh, he goes, well, that's old. And then off to another conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, you want to rock the world? Why don't you bring that back? I don't think they were excited about that thought. Pretty but much. anyway, we need to start sending messages to ilfordphoto.com and their contact list and say, you had 16 millimeter movie film? Bring it back. Bring it back. <laughs> And, well, and on right. that note, on I that, think that we're getting a little long in the tooth yes, here. Yes. Uh, so please, as usual, uh, thank you for watching. Please yes. subscribe, like, comment, tell a friend. All Telephone. those kind of greats. Tell, uh, yeah, you can call them if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be yes. here the phone. We want to thank everyone for watching us. Yes, and thank for you for watching. Subscribing. Our numbers are going up and up, and it's at a faster pace than earlier. Yes. So that, everything's kind of gaining momentum now. We're almost, as I say, almost 250 hours watched. Oh, he's, 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 don't worry about this. Don't worry about this, guys. He's excited, but don't worry about it. It is cool. With that, guys, right. we're going to say bye, Take care. Stay safe. Yep. Oh, oh. Uh-oh. What's careful. that? that stuff things falling over on you? Everywhere. We got film here, film here. Oh, we got film everywhere. I forgot about burger film. We got burger film. You got No, you ain't got no burger film. I got burger film. So what do you think this is? McDonald's? Yes.